Good morning, guys. So today is day five. I'm living out here in my truck camper. I'm going to head to my mom's for Easter today and then go over to my grandma's. So we'll see what happens. Running low on laundry. All right. Five, you guys. All right, guys. Got my coffee, and now I'm heading to my mom's. So. I made it to my mom's house. Is my sister, one of my sisters. Hi, Chloe. Hey. How's it going? Good. Say hi to YouTube. Hi. <laughs> Happy Easter, YouTube. <laughs> what about me? Happy Easter. No, no, never mind. Never mind. No Happy Easter to me? No. Happy Easter. <laughs> uh oh. And nice. go to church. <laughs> funny, funny. What's up guys? Went to my grandma's today and uh, chilled at my mom's most of the day. Watching some shows and just kind of chilling. So I'll probably stay here tonight, but tomorrow I'll be back in the camper and see what happens. Catch up with you guys in the morning. That's, pretty That's much, about it. That's pretty much the haps. That's what's happening. That's the haps. What's up guys? So today is day six. Obviously I didn't stay in here last night, but uh stayed at my mom's house. Yeah, I'll have plenty of time to sleep out here in the camper, so I gotta head to work for a bit and then I'm gonna try to find a camping spot. Possibly rent a spot at a campground, but I guess you guys will find out on that one. I'm about to head to work and then See what happens from there. Did some laundry. Took a shower. Keys are inside. All right. Catch up with you guys a little later. <laughs> Going to put in a garage door opener today. Fun stuff. It's like 68 degrees out right now. I think the high is only like 71, so it should be nice. My rent is spotted a campground, but we will see. All right. Got a couple things to eat. Keep it, I put this stuff in the cooler. And the ice melts quick when it's so warm outside. So yeah, I think I'm gonna try to stay at a campground tonight. 
it's only about 15 minutes from here and it's like the cheapest one around that I could find 20 bucks a night so I'm gonna test it out I'm not gonna try to pay for campsites every night because that ends up being more than rent that would be pointless I wish they had like boondocking campsites around here you pretty much have to go down to southern Illinois for all that stuff which I did in one of my last videos but that's a bit of a drive from here so I'm gonna go check this campground out Mill Point I think is the name of it Mill Point Park or something I didn't get like firewood or anything but firewood so expensive to buy if I can just find some sticks and stuff it'll be a little cheaper guys I think I made it to the right spot I just called and he gave me a couple directions he just said park anywhere so I'm not sure if you pay like when you're leaving or what it's interesting doesn't look like there's a ton of spots where there would be firewood so I don't know if I'll have a fire necessarily but it's a pretty spot fire pit over there there's water here too so I can rinse my digits. <laughs> rinse my pan and stuff when I'm done. All right. Jeez, looks like everything fell over that time. I was wondering what those sounds were. Those guys were looking at me funny. What, does this look like I built it or something? Come at me, bro. Come at me. I'm sorry. I'm gonna get set up and start making some food. So, let's do it. It feels amazing outside. I need to get my fan going. Gotta love this venti fan. I haven't even charged it, really. I plugged it in for a couple minutes the first night I got it. It's doing pretty well. Oh, that feels good. Get a little oscillation going. I'm probably gonna cook outside because it's too nice to not take advantage of that. And if I don't have to make it smell like food in here, that's a plus. Man, this thing feels amazing. Oh yeah. I need to organize this a little better, but not right now, I'm too hungry. do I need switch sides just in case I need to open my door this is gonna be an easy one tonight all I gotta do is cook up some meatballs got some Italian meatballs blended with grated parmesan, cheese, and herbs. Even for barbecue meatballs, that sounds pretty good. Just a little bit. All right, let's make some barbecue meatballs. 
Thankfully I put my garbage can right here. Makes it convenient when you're cooking on the tailgate. And those already smell amazing. I feel like the outside is going to cook a lot quicker, so I think I have a lid that I can throw on that. I had a lid. Oh my gosh, I'm looking right at it. There we go. It's a pretty big campground goes way over there. A lot of spots. Oh no. That's not what I meant to do. Oops. They need a slow cook. So beautiful out today, guys. Wherever you're watching from, hope it's beautiful weather for everybody. This is like perfect though. Not too hot, not too cold. Like 70, basically. 68, probably now. Somewhere in that range. All right, I'm gonna check these meatballs. Some of them are looking a little darker than the other ones. But they're, oh! Well, there's that. Where did that go? Are you serious? <laughs> it just disappeared. You're not gonna get away. No way. That's why they're called meat balls. Cause they roll. No way this thing is getting away from me. I only got like 10 meat balls. I'm not gonna do that. It's the outdoors. It's fine. A little dirt never killed anybody, right? <laughs> you can barely tell because it looks like seasoning, so don't judge me. Okay, a little bit longer. I'll create a little more steam in there. Two to three more minutes. That boy is terrible. All right, it's just about done, guys. Look at that view, though. Pretty, isn't it? I might throw a couple on here just so I can kind of use a couple of those up. That way they don't go bad on me. I love wine rolls, but I don't like expired wine rolls. All right. Done. Those don't look too bad, man. It's kind of a lot more than it looked like when they were just whole. Cut them in half and you make a little more food for yourself. It's kind of nice. Alright, I'm gonna try one of these out. Oh wow, that is really hot, but very good. Mm. Man, just meatballs and barbecue sauce, man. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna clean some of this up real quick so I can sit here and then eat my dinner. Just gonna let it sit in there. So I can soak my spatula.
There we go. Ooh, that's a little warm. This is my type of spot for a meal right here. Watch the sunset. Be some fire meatballs and a salad. Mmm. These are really good. The Italian flavoring makes it a little unique, but it's really good. Mm -hmm. Good stuff, man. Couldn't ask for more. It's got a little spice to it. I'm gonna try one inside a roll. See how that goes. One. There we go. Tastes like a meatball in a roll. That's good though. I was really tired when I got off work. I'm really thankful that I came out here though. This is beautiful. I'm gonna throw a time lapse on so you guys can watch the sunset with me. Just finish up eating this food. Maybe go for a little walk. Walk along the river or something. Catch up with the guys in a bit. Show me where the ending goes. I should be the last to know. Just finished up eating, and the sun is setting. Beautiful. Isn't that pretty? It's a pretty cool spot. Some metal. Man. I like this spot. Beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Can't get much prettier than nature. Pretty sick. I'll definitely have to come back here sometime. It's just a chill little campground with a ton of spots, so like I feel like people are just pretty spaced out. Which is cool. There are some people back here behind me a little ways, so I don't want to talk too loud and ruin their, their chill time. If you're wondering why I'm talking kind of quiet. This is sick though. Definitely glad I came out here. It's so calm. I love it. See the beaver? He's making his way downtown. This is such a pretty spot, man. I love it. It's definitely good to just sit back and chill sometimes. Just look at views like this. It's good for your mental health. Also thankful for uh, thankful for no mosquitoes yet. Obviously they'll come with the warmer weather, but I haven't gotten bit at all, and that's nice. Won't be able to say that here in like a month probably. Glad I came here. I think I'm gonna head back to the camper. I need some water, so so sick, man. The road that I turned off of is like where I grew up, a little further down this road. And I've never been to this campground. It's kind of a long road to get down here. So I didn't even know there was a campground back here. Kind of crazy. 
Thank God for Google. This is the first like official campground I've stayed at in this camper. I'd say it's a pretty good one too. It's really nice and quiet. Alright guys. I'm probably gonna chill for a bit, charge up my camera a little bit, transfer some files, because I'm running out of space. I'm getting close at least. But both my GoPro batteries are dead. Almost. This one's on like 8%, so the other one's at like 6. Next time I'll definitely bring some firewood. I might try, try to collect some sticks and stuff a little later. We'll see. There's enough sticks around if they're not wet. I could probably make a little fire. <clears throat> Honestly, I'm going to turn this off for now. Feels pretty good in here. So I think I'm going to work on throwing together my next video. It's pretty cool being in an actual campground. I like it. Quiet spot. Pretty cozy. But yeah, I'll uh, catch up with you guys when I'm done editing. So, see you in a bit. What's up guys? I am uh, getting there with this second video. But it's also getting kind of late. It's like 11.40. So, I think I'm going to call it for now. I should have brought some, like, breakfast stuff so I could have cooked a little breakfast over the fire. But, I mean, this isn't the, the last time that I'll have a campsite, I'm sure. I'll probably end up getting one, you know, that way I can do some, like, cookouts and stuff. Cook some breakfast over the fire. That type of thing. So, yeah. I was gonna have a fire, but, uh... The wood is like slightly damp, well the sticks that I was going to use, but uh, it's almost midnight right now, so I'm kind of tired. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to kick it for now, and then tomorrow I got to go to work for a bit. I appreciate you guys for watching, and I hope you're enjoying my journey so far. <laughs> I know I've just kind of been doing a little zigzag around town in the same type of areas but just need to keep saving up some money and then I can hit the road so I really do appreciate you guys all the support I get from everybody it, it really means a lot all the comments and everything you guys are super supportive so I appreciate that I will catch you guys tomorrow though so have a good night